Hi guys, welcome here again to another news. Unbelievable situations are now happening in Nigeria and of course, a lot of people are wondering why is this happening. It has just been reported that the security of British in Nigeria evacuate passenger from Abuja Lagos flight for allegedly protesting against Tenobu's inauguration. After the just concluded presidential election, there have been a lot of situations traveling in. A lot of talks has been happening as regards to uh, Tinobu's presidency and this is actually going uh, wider than we ever thought it would be. Imagine what has just been said now. Imagine what is happening, what the security operatives have just done as uh, security operatives evacuated uh, a passenger. They evacuated a passenger from Abuja Lagos flight violently protesting against Tinobu's inauguration. Well, we would like you to see tight as you go into the full details of the news to see what is actually uh, going on. Security agents on Friday evening evacuated a yet to be identified man off an uh, Abuja to Lagos flight for allegedly protesting you know, and opposing the inauguration of President elect Bola Tinobu, the lone protester had announced that Tinubu must never be sworn in as president on May 29, 2023. It was gathered that it took the effort of no fewer than six airport security officers to carry the man out after holding up the aircraft for more than one hour as the 6 p.m. flight had yet to move as of 7 p.m. The man could be heard shouting while he was being, you know, carried off. You know, as he was saying, Obedience, you are here. They are doing this to me. Obedience, you are here. I am naked. Obedience, you are here. I am going naked. Several reporters had reported on March 25th that the Department of State Service, DSS, the Nigerian Secret Police, said they were planning a violently disrupt, you know, peace in the country. The agency had recently raised a similar alert saying it had uncovered a plot to incite violence in some parts of the country, particularly the North Central Zone. However, the DSS in a statement signed by its spokesperson, Peter Afunaya, had warned those the spirits to cause a breakdown of law and order to desist from that noting that while some political players had sought redress in court others were making an inciting statement statement had read the department of state service again alert the public of plans to violently disrupt peace in the country the service Hereby warned those desperate to cause a breakdown of law in order to desist from that. It is evident that those aggrieved politicians are already taking advantage of this legal process. This, without a doubt, is the beauty of democracy. It is strongly believed that this approach enhances peace and security. All and sundry should cherish it. Be that as it may, the DSS will not tolerate a situation where persons and or group of persons take law into their hands and champion anarchy. Those peddling fake news, hate speech, and all form of false narratives as basis to ignite violence or pit the people against the present and incoming administrations at the federal, state, and parliamentary levels should stop for to it. Those inciting violence have nothing to gain, as doing so will not only consume them but also the innocent. It is otherwise disturbing to see respected personalities use their platforms to mislead or incite citizens. This, to say the least, does not or go well with peaceful coexistence and general order the statement added what is your take on what has been said what is your own reactions to this we've just heard about how the security operatives evacuate passenger from abuja lagos flight 
for allegedly protesting against Tinobu's inauguration. Now, it has been said again, you know, like we've heard from the news, the agency had recently raised a similar alert saying it had uncovered a plot to incite violence in some parts of the uh, country, but like, you know, particularly the north central zone. We would like you to share it with us via the comment section. We'd like you to let us know your own take on what has been said. It has been said by the DSS uh, statement that was signed by the spokesperson Peter Funaya, who won those desperate to cause a breakdown of law in order to desist from that. Noting that, while some political players had sought redress in court, others are making inciting statements. And don't forget, President Mohamed Buhari has also made it so clear that if you are not, you know, if you are not okay with the results, if you are not pleased with the outcome of the election results, instead of going to the media, instead of going and staging protests yourself, go to the court and seek redress. We have some people who have done that and we have some people who are taken to the streets themselves. This is what you get. This is what you gain for doing so. That is what has been said. We would like you to let us know your own take on what has been said also. But before we go, let's people's reactions to these uh, present situations. Tonya Ngozi reacted to this and said, Nigerians with their you know, tricks. Nothing we know the possible in Nigeria. Politicians with their antics. This election has really shown that Nigeria no be, you know, one. Nigeria is not united. The earlier we believe this, the better for us. That is what has been said by Ngozi. The earlier we believe that Nigeria is not together. The earlier we believe that Nigeria is not as unity, the earlier we believed Nigeria is not one, the better it becomes for us. What is your take to what Ngozi have said? Of course, you agree with me that it is obvious that Nigeria is not one because if Nigeria is one, the issue happening in Lagos State between the Ibos and the Yorubas wouldn't have been happening. The issue of Biafra wouldn't have come up and the issue of the Yoruba nation of which has led Sunday Boho and Peter and Namdi Kanu to the present detention, they are now wouldn't have happened. Different reactions from different persons. We would like you to let us know your own take on this. We would like you to share your take with us via the comment section. You should sue the airline and all involved for blatant breach of its fundamental human rights. And the reaction from Ola Komi, who said that he was arrested. He should have sued the airline and all involved. For the blatant breach of his fundamental rights because the way he was arrested now he would definitely be charged and convicted for what what is his offense what is your take to these different reactions from different people don't forget that security operatives evacuate passenger from abuja lagos flight for allegedly protesting against tinobu's inauguration thank you guys for listening to subscribe to this channel if you have not and i will see you on the other news bye for now